Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is uh, that point again when we look at all the pages. Um, we've coloured over the month of January. I have got 19 pages in total, including four PDF print off, which I never do any of those. I've done four this month, so that's fun. And they'll go into my file. So uh, let's get started. So I did some uh, first one in uh, Jade Summer's uh, 50 Easy Mandalas. Let me just see, and it's this one. And I did this using the uh, metallic sharpies. Now I really like the metallic sharpies, the, the red one, it just seemed a bit dry, but it is working, uh, the rest of them were working perfectly, but it took a while to get the ink to come out of the red one, but it is fine now. That's the first one. The second one was in uh, Easy Patterns by Jade Summer. It's, uh, I like the patterns though, they're Easton. And that was this one, and this one was done, I'm going to say the sharpies. Yeah, uh, that would have been known as Sharpies, uh, normal Sharpies. Um, just a nice, easy pattern that doesn't take up too long and isn't too hard and it's just nice and relaxed. Yeah, I like that. Just when I just, I'm just sitting there watching colouring videos. Um, I like to just do a pattern or if I'm holding Jennifer couple of Deborah Muller ones this time. I did one in Girlfriends finally. This is um, one of the books from the, I haven't coloured in this book, so sort of like, it's kind of like Callie Hoard, but I don't post them on social media other than showing them here, um, which is Lavella's uh, thing is Callie Hoard. And I did a few of uh, books I've never coloured in before, so that's good. And I coloured in, if I get to it, this one. Now, I used, I think, the limo shade for this, I think. It might have been actually, it might have been the shut marks. I think it was the yeah, limo shade. Um, the, the skin tone's not very good, but that one's not too bad. Um, but it was just a bit of fun, something to do, past the time, watching videos. But uh, it's a cute book and I really like it. I love Deborah Muller, I'm not gonna lie. It goes there. Uh, so the first uh, PDF I did is from the uh, Jade Summer 100 Greatest Hits. Now, I've probably got this book that this one's in, and i probably have to do it again, but I'll do it completely differently. And this was done using the machets, I think, more than likely. Um, do you know what, it's been so long since I've done them, I can't remember. I was still going to do it blue, but I made a mistake on one of the... Thing, so I went out and, and replaced the blue with the black and it looks quite nice. Now it was the limit shades. It was the limit shades. Looks nice. So that's the first one of those uh, PDF things we did. Then uh, a book I bought uh, a long time ago. Again, this is one I've never coloured in before. So it's sort of like one off the colour your hoard thing is 50 Romantic Mandalas and Hearts Designs by Camellia Angel Cova. And I do these in order and I just did the first one and it has been done with, um, as you can see, uh, glitter gel pens. My favourite glitter gel pens, which were the, which are the um, Link Shine. I was, I did start it off in fine liners because it's so fine, um, but I didn't like the way that the ink was going down. So I went over it with the, the, um, glitter gel pen so it took a lot longer and it's just two birds but it was fun it was a nice one to do right the last two or another two rather because there's another one after this of the pdfs this one is the color in heaven discovery club picture this is by chin thakaharath it's a very nice one that was done with derwent color soft pencils because I haven't used them for ages and I thought I want to use them. So I did that one. And the next one was Discovery Club as well. And I can't see who it is. But they've got colouring chicks on it. So it's the way it's printed I can't see it. And this was just done with markers. Um, Touch 5 skin markers. And what other other markers I had I think. Yeah. Most likely it was the ever, some of the Everblends. This was Everblend, I'm sure. But it's really nice, nice picture. I enjoyed doing that one. It didn't take very long at all. Another Jade Summer pattern one. Again, this is one from Colour Your Hoard. This is the Jade Summer one I picked to do 
uh, this month because I'm going to do one from a, a Jane Summer book that every month, the one of the ones I haven't clear, coloured in, I can't even speak today. Um, and again I just did it with Link Shine Gel Pens and again I do these in the order in the book and it was this first one. That was a lot of fun to do with the, the three different colours at the top and the reds and the oranges and the pinks. Very bright and shiny. But that was quite fun. So that's one off of my Jade Summer Hoard. <laughs> Then the one we did online um, on camera is the Doctor Who Time Flight. I totally enjoyed this one. This was done using Black Widows. So this is how it looks finished. I did enjoy that one. It was a lot of fun and I'm going to enjoy colouring in this book again. Um, and the last one I did of the PDFs is uh, Deborah Muller's Kind of it's got a bit of mark on it up there, but it's one of her chubby mermaids, and I really enjoyed it. I think it's a St. Patrick's one because he's got shank shamrocks on it, so I did it with that. Um, I, I used um, oh gosh, Link Shine gel pens and RT's Everblend markers, and I couldn't think of it. And of course, the touch, touch new skin tone I used because so, I like those ones, so that was fun to do. And I did one in the Easy Flower Mandala book. I love this book. I've done quite a few in here. It's one of the books I might actually finish one day. I'm not doing this 10 to finish in 2021 because it'll never happen. I probably won't even finish one. Um, and that's this one. And again, it was just done with Link Shine markers because I am a colouring glitter whore. We know that. I love my shiny gel pens. <laughs> But it was fun, and like I said, it doesn't take long, and I was doing it downstairs watching TV um, when I was with Jennifer. I've got 50 Spyro Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cover. This is one of the books I bought this month, uh, or in January. So that's one at least doesn't have to go on the shelf. And again, Sparkle Crisp Pens, I know, I know, Link Shine. But look at that, isn't that pretty? They're really fab, these pictures. I can't wait to do some more. I'm not going to say I'm going to do them all glitter. There's a good chance, but I might do some with just like felt tips, but who knows? We'll have to find out, won't we? That's that one. I did one in this uh, Relax With Art 75 issue, and I did the Spanish dancers. And this was done with Black Widows, and I have, you know, done sunsets, and I've done the light shining on the water. Sand. It was really nice. It was really fun to do. It took me a while to do it. They're quite detailed pictures. Um, but again, I enjoyed it. I just sat here, watched television and had a bit of a colour. You'll notice a theme. Another one, the other one we did on camera, because I haven't been filming much in January because I've been so busy, was the fairy portraits. And of course we did this one, which was the fairy scribe. And we used um, Artie's Rev Blend, the Touch New Skin Tones. Um, the Mozart gold watercolour paints on the background, gold and bronze, and some purple and a blue Link Shine on her wings, which I love. And lots of people have said, oh, I'm going to try um, your wings technique, or can I try your wings technique? And I'm like, yes, of course, try it, by all means. <laughs> it's, if, I, if I share a technique that I'm just playing with and you want to do it you go for it it's not a secret that's why it's on the video but I really like doing this one it was fun it was fun even if I did get covering really covered in uh, gold uh, another jade summer now no, I didn't obviously they haven't put any out so I haven't bought any this month um is mandalas for beginners I did two in this one just because I was in the mood and again that one was done with the sharpie glitter uh, sharpie metallics that was fun to do. So as you can see, they're working fine. Yeah, nothing, no problem with them at all. I don't know what the issue is with the red one. It's just, it's all right if you keep using it, but if you stop it, they, it just doesn't. And that was the second one I did. And the first one I did was this. And I did this using the Secura Jelly Rolls. Uh, Moonlight, is it? I think. The luminous ones. Right. Some neon coloured ones. 
yeah moonlight because they're not colors i'm really going to use in pictures unless they i need a neon um and i've got plenty of neon pens but i thought i'd just do it just see what it looks like <laughs> it actually looks quite cool i quite like that one so that was another jade summer one i'll take that piece of paper out so that it'll fit on the shelf Now, as I do, I put them into piles as to which shelves they actually go on. So I then did one from Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. Again, this is one of the ones that was off my shelf, as was Fairy Portraits, that ones I hadn't coloured in prior to. So I actually did take a good few off. Put a few on, of course, but they'll be probably coming off. Um, and I did a double page spread in this one. So I still counted it as one picture because it's a double page spread. And I did these two ladies and this almost, almost made it to be in my favorite picture of the month. Almost, not quite though. So this was done again with Black Widows and her, the crowns were, and the stars, well the crown, yeah, crowns and stars, or the, t the diadems and the, and the stars uh, were done with the Securi Jelly Roll metallic and sparkle pens. I love her hair colour. Two different uh, Black Widows and that's three different on for the light blonde. But I really enjoyed doing this picture. It took me all month. I'd started at the beginning of the month and I literally finished it on the 31st of January. So yeah, it, did, it took me a long time to do but I'm so pleased with it. I think it looks wonderful and it's, it is nearly my favourite picture of the month. It's not... It has been a hard decision between those two the two and I'll show you the one I've put uh, in a bit and lastly I did two in this Jade Summer book which is a hundred magical patterns I've actually done 14 in this book now so again it's one I might one day finish because I like doing the patterns and I did the owl now I skipped this one previously because I wanted to do a pattern in the gel pens last month in, in December um, so I just did the owl I didn't do the, those but I, I, I like the owl and that was done with the shuttle art markers and then the second one I did pick that out, was also done with the shuttle art markers so I like them they're very vibrant this green has run out because I've used it loads but that's okay I mean now I don't show you my empty pens at the end of the month because generally it would be all gel pens but uh, maybe if I get to the end of some pens and pencils I'll start showing them from next month if you'd like to see that I know some people love it and uh, I like seeing it it's quite interesting to see what people have been colouring with and what they've used up so I have got a tin I can put them in for the month and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know so those are all the pictures I coloured in the month of January 19 it's quite a lot for me um to be fair the one of one of the ones of the discovery club the one of the girl with the sort of gingery orange hair didn't take very long I did that in one night because it was just so nice and easy to colour. So my favourite picture of the month, it's got to be Doctor Who Time Flight, just because it's my favourite Doctor and it's my favourite companion and it, it took a lot to do it, but I really enjoyed doing it and I enjoyed working with it on camera. So I will leave that tag in because at the end of the year, we're going to do our top, our favourite pictures of the year roundup and this one will be in it. So that was my favourite picture of the year. So that is everything I have coloured in the month of January. It's not a bad hot little selection. I, I got something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books off of my shelves that I hadn't coloured in before. That does include the two new ones, but that is that is six that are not got, that uh, are off of the the shelf. I. I'd obviously put a few on but that's okay um and I'll be taking a few off as many as I can next month I, like I said I'm still going to carry in my ordinary pattern ones I do want to do another one from Creatures of the Night um I haven't done one off of the Mermaids one I'm not counting the colour in Heavens because they're in a separate place but there's not many of those anyway because I tend to colour in them all the time so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give me a thumbs up uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favourite picture of the month was that I coloured. Um, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye now, everybody. Bye.